This is Module 3, Lesson 16, Homework on the Back. Number 3, let's C equal 8. Then determine whether the equations are true or false. So in letter A, it says C times 0 equals 8. So in other words, 8 times 0 equals 8. We learned today that anything times 0 equals 0, and that's why the answer is false. Letter B, 0 times C equals 0. So that's telling me 0 times 8 equals 0. Anything times 0 equals 0, so this is true. Letter C, C times 1 equals 8. 8 times 1 equals 8 because C equals 8. Any number times 1 equals itself. So this is, again, true. Letter D, 1 times C equals 8. Remembering that C is 8. This is the commutative property from letter C. So it is, again, true. Letter E, 0 divided by C equals 8. So we have 0 divided by 8 equals 8. 8. We learned today that anything divided by 0 equals 0, so this will be false. It will not equal 8. 8 divided by C equals 1, so we have 8 divided by 8 equals 1. A number divided by itself equals 1. This is true. G. 0 divided by 6 equals 0. So we have 0 divided by C. Divided by 8 equals 0. Any number divided by 0 equals 0. This is true. Letter H. C divided by 0 equals 8. 8 divided by 0 equals 8. This is false because when we are dividing, 0 always has to come first. This is false. Number 4. Rajan says that any number multiplied by 1 equals that number. Write a multiplication equation using n to represent Rajan's statement. So Rajan says any number, which is n, multiplied by 1 equals that same number. Part B, using your equation from part A, let n equal 5 and draw a picture to show that the new equation is true. So I'm going to replace my n's with 5's, so I will have 5 times 1 equals 5. If I have that as a number bond, 5 is my total, I have five groups, and the size of each group is one. One, two, three, four, five. Five times one equals five.